recommended dosage, your first dosage should be one capful, which is 50 milligrams. That's the recommended dose, is one cap. So of course, <laughs> we're gonna drink the whole fucking thing, you know what I mean? What's up everybody? YouTube's been really busting my balls about their community guidelines recently, so if you're under 18, fuck off. Thanks. Oh. Hi. Uh, I don't think you okay, Thank you, you too. That's what I was looking for. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. That was a little loud. So this one's a little different because usually I start out my videos sober, but this time I'm a thousand milligrams. Uh, I'm an hour into a thousand milligrams and uh, I was editing the footage and it's all fucking blurry. Like the slow-mo is blurry, the whole intro is blurry. And I was like, we can't just have a blurry slow-mo, you know what I mean? So I rolled up another joint real quick and we're gonna get a proper slow-mo going. There's no time to waste. Hopefully this is nice and focused and then uh, we'll, we'll just get it going, bro. Please, please, teach me. sober me told me it was in spot focus right there so I swear to god if the joint wasn't in focus I'll be very upset uh, it's okay though we can still get a nice little hopefully a decent slow-mo I don't know I've been rolling my joints with the flat top as you can see usually I like pinch and twist but I've been on that like pre-roll life you know what I mean look at the ash man like look at the ash on that thing how can you just look at that and how can you smoke a joint and ever go back to blunts man it blows my fucking mind oh one more quick thing before we get to the syrup yes i am wearing the merch the samples finally came in you see it uh long sleeves and hoodies for these ones it's a uh, piece you know what i mean peace signs on the side this one's for like the more discreet smokers so it's like maybe that guy smokes weed but like maybe i don't know this one is for the people who are like, yeah, buddy, I fucking smoke weed. So we have the blue, or the blue, I'm fucking colorblind. We got the green, we got the pink with the leaves on the side. You already know what it is, man. Also coming in hoodies, some good stuff. All right, enough of the bullshit. I know what you guys are here to see. I know what you guys clicked on the video for. It's this stuff right here, liquid karma. If you don't know what liquid karma is, the easiest way to put it is it's THC lean, THC syrup. Now there's two big deals about this specific bottle. First of all, it has nanocannabinoids. We gotta find a way to get the weed into the system in the most efficient way possible, in the fastest way possible. So instead of most edibles, like primarily being processed by your liver and it just takes like an hour, hour and a half, two hours, everyone's different, who knows? It just depends on how fast your metabolism is. This just like, it kicks in pretty much in an hour confirmed. Like you don't have to wait longer than an hour. If you're, if you're an hour into some liquid karma, you're gonna be feeling fucking weird the second big thing if you can see right there at the bottom it is 1,000 total milligrams so if you just let's just put this into context for a little bit for airplanes and stuff and for air rides I take around 200 milligrams 250 and that gets me fucking weird like if I don't get through TSA in the correct amount of time if I don't dose at the right time I'm like fucking tweaking out in the airport trying to get to the airplane and like go to sleep as fast as I can. Most edibles that you see, I'll throw some on screen right now, are 100 milligrams at the absolute max. There are some that are like 10 or 50, but for the most part, I'd say all chocolate bars I've ever seen are 10 doses of 10 milligrams. So it's like 10 little pieces of chocolate, one full bar, 100 milligrams. That's like a full size edible. Like if you eat that whole thing, you'll be fucking tweaking. This is 10 times that. This is a thousand milligrams, bro. Look at the directions right here. I'll do a close up if I uh, can't get a proper angle right there. But it says your recommended dosage, your first dosage should be one cap full, which is 50 milligrams. That's the recommended dose is one cap. So of course, <laughs> we're gonna drink the whole fucking thing. You know what I mean? I got some drinks right here to assist me as well. Multiple drinks, because drinking it all in one would be kind of boring, you know what I mean? Classic, I had to cop the Sprite. If we're gonna pour up a little something, syrup, whatever, we gotta cop the Sprite. And then, Sonic Lemonade. Hey, had to throw it back to the Sonic for the one time. And then lastly, which is actually pretty fucking cool, this isn't a sponsor or anything, but Munchpack is always showing love. So if you saw that little clip, Munchpack is just like the subscription box, but instead of uh, Dollar Shave Club with razors or like um, boxes of weed or whatever your subscriptions are, 
This one is subscriptions of snacks from around the world. It's actually pretty fucking dope. And I think the dopest part, the part that I like the most, is that it comes with one drink in every one. I don't know what fucking language that is. I know one of you guys is gonna be like, oh, how do you know what, no, 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 what language that is? Yeah, we're not all the same, bro. All right, hop off, look at it. Cream soda, wait, what, melon cream soda? It's kind of tripping me out because like the main thing, it looks like a glass of Sprite, but there's a fucking <laughs> chunk of ice cream in there. So uh, I don't know how this is gonna taste. I imagine very, very sweet, but uh, we got some even sweeter syrup for it. So I don't really wanna drink this whole thing. I think the move is to like, I'm gonna pour out like half of this. I'm gonna pour out half the Sprite, pour out half the lemonade and just split 333 milligrams in each one. And then we'll drink them all down while we smoke this little joint right here. dude. I fucking damn man. I love drinking shit when you're smoking. Like, I don't know, man. I used to be like having a water bottle at all times when I smoked, and then you get to like, dude, you guys ever smoked with like your favorite drink? You know you got a favorite drink. I'm not talking about alcoholic either, unless you're like getting crossfaded at fucking what 3 p.m. on a Monday, you weirdo. It's nothing like a nice joint and like a fucking brilliant drink, bro. Anything from Sonic's fire as fuck. I like smoothies, anything. Get a nice pour up right here. A nice close-up. This specific flavor is actually their newest one, I think. It's California Cooler. It is pineapple and orange. Hell yeah. Let's see. Obviously very important that we start out with the Sprite. We can get a good clean thumbnail too. I appreciate it. Oh my God, I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh Jesus. good third of it nice we couldn't really see it like pour up pour up though all right i got you guys in the next drink hopefully you can see it like milk up and stuff that was kind of a rough pour <laughs> but look at it all right next up we got the lemonade these are probably the worst pour shots of all time but fuck it you're just trying to get some angle you know i'm just trying not to spill any uh, yeah it's about the last third fuck Lastly, we got this, uh, I'm guessing it's like Japanese. I don't know, Japanese generally have like some pretty crazy sodas. Dude, there's like a there's like a market for Japanese sodas. It's weird, they're all like rare here in the US. I've seen them being sold for like 10, 15, 20 bucks a can. One can of that shit, bro, it's pretty crazy. Oh, it's not that bad. That's like a, it just tastes like a vanilla Mountain Dew, to be honest. Or like a vanilla Sprite, maybe. I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna mix with it, but fuck it. Let's get it going, man. I wish there was an opening. This thing doesn't have like a sleeve opening, bro. You can't see the inside. That's fucking whack. Fuck, man, what? You can't even see me pour it up? All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna... The last little bit of it. Hell oh, yeah. Now it's time to finish the joint and then just take a lot of sips, man. I kind of just want to chug one, to be honest. Um. We'll chug the lemonade. I feel like that'll go down the easiest. Oh, it tastes so good. Honestly, it does thicken up your shit. Like, if you take a little cap full of just the syrup, and, like, coats your, like, mouth and your throat and stuff, like, it's a thick, like, little something, bro. Whew. I just gotta smoke sip, smoke sip is really what the game plan is right now. I'm hoping, I don't know, weed, weed gets me high. Everyone asks me about my tolerance all the time. We definitely still do it to me high after like one joint, one bong rip will get me feeling like real good. But I feel the thing about my tolerance is, is it wears off quickly. So like I won't be high from this joint anymore in like 30, 45 minutes. Which I'm hoping that's when this kicks in so it all like work out really well. We're about to put a timer on the screen as well for like an hour. Then I'll check back in with you boys when, <laughs> when shit's getting weird bro. Right. <laughs> I have like two experiences with Liquid Karma. And they're both like stories, like to tell. So like, I don't know, there's just something about this product that's like, gets you feeling a little weird, man, I'll tell you what. It doesn't really taste like weed all that much either. I've had definitely some other syrups, and they're all pretty good, they all get you baked as fuck. But a lot of edibles and a lot of syrup, just like, they have that weed taste, bro. Like, there's just nothing, you, can, you can't really get rid of it, you know what I mean? It's motherfucking weed, bro. But, um, sorry, I just keep staring at this joint. Like, look how fucking beautiful it is, man. Like, the ash just like, all sitting pretty. It's like a nice pair of titties just in my face. It's great. Smoke tricks. Lemonade, finish. 333 milligrams down. That's our, dude, that's more than I take like all the time. I don't really fuck with edibles that much. 
because they honestly get me feeling weird. Like, I don't know, man. The way edibles hit your body, it's like, it literally is a body high because the THC is not being processed with it, like, going into your bloodstream because it's going to the smoke and stuff. It's like, dude, it's going into your liver. And it, like, delivers to your body in a different way. And I'm just like, ugh. Like, I feel fucking weird off edibles, man. Edibles, I'm, like, starting to talk weird already. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no. Background. I think next up, we got to get the Sprite going. I should have poured out more of the Sprite, to be honest. It's kind of a lot, man. I don't really drink like that much soda. <laughs> this is all sugary as fuck. Fuck it, man. Anything for the for the high, I guess. Sounds kind of crackheady, but you know what I mean. That's a lot better. All right, if you're gonna get anything, I feel like pouring it up in Sprite is just always the safest bet, bro. It's just like a base soda, but it's got a little like you know what I mean, lemon lime in there. That's good stuff right there, man. I like that a lot better than the lemonade. The lemonade was almost like too sweet already. Liquid caramel just added to it gonna fuck up my stomach bro if anything fuck that this is this is tasting good though the sprite oh yeah the sprite's simple for sure ah, 667 milligrams down approximately should i just like i feel like i should just start the timer now right like you know if i wait like I don't know. I'm fucking tweaking already, dude. <laughs> you guys know that stopwatch? Like the classic middle school, high school teacher just throw it up on the screen. Test taken the stopwatch. We'll put that in the corner right there. I don't know if you can even see that. Who knows? Maybe. Last but not least, we got the cream soda. I kind of want to, I'm kind of interested to taste this one because like it almost tasted like a lot like Sprite before. So I feel like this one's not going to be too bad. I like this little white little tip right there, man. The Japanese have got something going on with the aesthetics, bro. They know what's good. Like, look at this shit, man. Just look at the packaging for it. Just like writing all over it. There's a bunch of fucking words going on. It's all colorful and shit. Okay, okay. Watch well, it be a completely different country and I'm just being racist. Dude, I'm Asian. Ken, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one, bro. That one's a little strange. Yeah, see, look. It says right here that it's creamy, quote unquote. And uh, that's exactly what it's like. It's already creamy and it's already like, like I said, it tastes like vanilla before, but now it just tastes like a little too sweet. I don't know. Sprite's the go-to, all right? I, out of the three drinks, Sprite's 100% the move. We got to finish this hoser. I feel like I can chug this. I guess because we have a little bit of this joint left, I'll tell you about the first time that I ingested this liquid karma. We opened them on stream together, tasted them all together, and I was like, damn, should I just chug down like 500 milligrams right now? Like, I don't know if I want to do a whole bottle because I want to save that experience for a video, but like 500, like half the bottle real quick, I'm down. Of course, all of chat fucking egged me on to do it. There's not a single person that would say no to that. Drank half the bottle, and after an hour, I was just feeling like so weird I almost couldn't stream. I was like... I was just feeling like, <laughs> like, I don't want to do this anymore, bro. Like, I don't want to be on this camera. So I was like, fuck that. I was like, all right, peaced out from the stream. Homies picked me up. We went out to eat. And, bro, <laughs> I've never, like, ordered, like, coarse meals like that. Like, I was so fucking stoned that I was just, like, buying shit left and right. They are like, you're really hungry, huh? And I was like, I don't think so, bro. Like, I just want to eat shit. Like, it was, like, the food tasted so good. But I wasn't hungry. But I was like, dude. Like, that sounds delicious. Like, even if I'll eat only a few bites of it, like, I just want to, like, taste that right now. <laughs> and, like, that's just what I was doing. Spent an unnecessary amount at dinner and then went home and then was, like, absolutely couch locked. The one thing that I vividly remember from being couch locked is that at one time, the Netflix autoplay came on. Or it was, it was, I was watching South Park. I was watching the new season of South Park. The autoplay came on to another show that wasn't South Park and I just didn't want to watch at the time. And the controller was definitely arm's reach away if I like moved my body, but I was like wrapped up in a blanket in the corner and I was like, fuck it, like, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> like, I, I don't even wanna change the channel, bro. I can't even move. It was, uh, it was quite the experience. It was very insane. And um, I'm very curious to see what double the dosage does to me. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna say I'm scared, but what the fuck, bro? Like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> It's almost done. We got like point one, point one left of that, a couple more hits, and we have, I think we have like two more sips of this. I honestly can gulp this real quick. There it is. 1,000 milligrams of T. 
THC in my system. I don't know what this is. This is actually probably, okay, so I was looking up like what nano cannabinoids were just to explain them, like how the fuck are they different from regular cannabinoids in their body. One of the things they were saying is like a thousand milligrams of nano cannabinoids is a thousand milligrams. Like you're 100% gonna get a thousand milligrams. When you have a bud or a joint that's 25% THC, you're generally expecting to get around like 250 milligrams from that but a good percentage of that is lost when you're smoking it. It just goes out in the smoke, it just gets burned up, it gets fucked up, it does not get absorbed into your system. So you're getting more of like less than 70, probably less than 80 milligrams of THC if you're smoking a joint of 25%, which 25% is like kind of decent. I feel like anywhere from like 20 to 30 is pretty decent. Above 30, you're getting into like, oh, so you got some, you got some butt, huh, buddy? Fuck, 11 minutes. I'll probably just edit this footage actually, and then We'll see what's cracking in uh, 40 minutes or so, 50 minutes, something like that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's good, fellas? Uh, it's <laughs> it's an hour and twenty minutes into the uh, thousand milligrams, and I'm feeling <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good for sure. There's gonna be an Asian joke or two in the comments about dude. I can barely open my eyes. All right, I'll say it right now, bro. I can't like I'm fucking high as fuck right now. I'm not even gonna lie. It definitely gets like I don't wanna say it gets more intense, but you definitely feel it more as time goes on. Like even from an hour twenty from when I took the five hundred milligrams, that shit just like hour two. I definitely felt a little bit higher than hour one. Like it just like, edibles just like work like that, you know what I mean? So uh, I wish I had time for an hour to check in, but if you do want to see it, if you're catching it live, make sure to check out the live stream. I'll be high as fuck on that. The second story about the liquid karma that I was saving for the end of the video is a couple days ago, me and two friends decided to split probably like 350 milligrams of the bottle of liquid karma between the three of us. Both of them don't really smoke that much, but I drank at least half of it for sure. So I'd say they split around like 75 each, maybe like 80 or 90, something like that. But it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy, right? I'd say it was like two servings about. We go to the mall and it's pretty hot in Arizona still, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it's really not cold anywhere. Like I feel like people around the fucking country are just like, bro, why the fuck is it so hot right now? And it's true, why the fuck is it so hot? So anyway, we're outside. Guess she didn't really eat, didn't really drink shit all day. Like she got drunk earlier in the morning. We're waiting in line outside at like a kiosk for like a pretzel or some shit. And then she just looks at me and she's like, Eric, <laughs> I'm gonna green out. And I was like, what? Like I thought like immediately, as soon as I thought she was gonna green out, I thought she said she was gonna throw up. So I was like, I like almost distanced myself from her. And she was like, can you give me some water? And I was like, yes, for sure. <laughs> and like the second she says that, she like starts to like stumble a little bit and I'm like, fuck, wait, 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 like what's going on right now? Is she gonna like, wait, what's going on? The next thing I know, her knees buckle and she drops like a fucking pancake, bro. It was almost like watching someone get knocked out clean. Like you ever seen someone just like, like drop, bro. I thought she got like fucking sniped or something. I was like, oh my God. Like I tried to catch her and shit, but she still hit her head. And I was like, dude. What the fuck? It was like the trippiest. It was one of the trippiest experiences I've had of like this year for sure. This year for sure. Maybe spanning back to like a couple years, man. That was like, dude, I thought I've witnessed someone like die. <laughs> so just the way like the body just like gave out or some shit, bro. I was like, oh my god. It didn't look, it didn't look uh, healthy at all. I'm not blaming it on liquid karma, but I'm just saying if you uh, are not prepared for the edibles, then make sure to actually follow the directions. Cause like, I feel like this is like a warning almost. Cause like, I feel like most people will drink a thousand milligrams and fuck themselves up. You know what I mean? She's okay by the way, nothing really happened. We just like went about our day and like took her home and stuff, so. Crazy stuff, dude, crazy fucking stuff. All right, appreciate you guys so much for being here. Uh, Liquid Karma is a fucking go. I would recommend, there's like, there's hella flavors. It's good stuff. I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking hot. All right, appreciate you guys. Love you so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, fucking comment if you're new. Whatever that bullshit is. Merch. Link. Fuck YT. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace. Woo.